On Wednesday, August 2nd, Nigerian workers led by organized labor occupied the National Assembly to protest the difficult times brought on by the removal of subsidy on petrol. The protesters submitted their demands to the Senate, which resolved that it would meet with the NLC and TUC leadership in the shortest possible time to find an amicable resolution to the current impasse. This is the meeting which the Senate promised to convene and the leadership of the labor unions are in attendance. The NLC president puts on the table what the unions are seeking to ameliorate the hardship caused by the removal of subsidy on fuel, which has caused a rise in the cost of transportation and that of living. Our agreement with government in 2020, the CNG was being targeted at 19 era per liter, you know, as an alternative to PMS that was at 185 then. The option of equally repair of our refineries was looked into. We can't survive on PMS that is import driven. Comrade Ajiro was also dissatisfied with the level of progress in engagement with the federal government. We had agreed for a wage award, which is not new in Nigerian parlance, you know, from the dodgy days, dodgy award, to even early this year when the federal government paid 40% award to some of their employees. So we are conscious of that and we have agreed on wage award. And up to this moment, the Committee on Wage Award is yet to sit. The president of the TUC in his presentation says the interventions brought forward by the federal government are not far-reaching. He also maintains that the country's political elite has not modeled the sacrifice they are demanding from Nigerians. You are the political class. You are asking us to keep sacrificing, but we have not seen the palpable sacrifice from both the executive, the legislature and the judiciary. The president of the Senate tells the labor unions of the efforts with the executive to ameliorate the sufferings of Nigerians. The Senate will be very glad to approach the executive arm of government in partnership with you to see how we can work together to reduce the sufferings of Nigerians. The meeting, which thereafter went into a closed-door session, is expected to be the beginning of several engagements between the federal legislature and organized labor to find solutions to the impasse. Linda Kibi, Channels Television News.